Have you ever wondered why some people seem always strong and resilient in facing life's challenges, while others struggle endlessly without being able to rise? The answer often lies not in grand actions or dramatic events, but in subtle habits that seem harmless yet silently erode our inner strength. These small habits, over time, can accumulate and become invisible chains, preventing us from reaching our true potential. In this video we will explore 10 hidden habits that might be making you weaker, and through the timeless wisdom of Stoic philosophy, find strategies to overcome them. Stoic philosophy, with its simple yet profound principles, has helped many achieve inner peace and mental strength no matter what challenges they face. Join me on this journey by leaving a comment. I am ready for this journey to learn how to reclaim your strength, resilience, and joy in life. It's time to break free from these invisible chains and step into a life full of meaning and fulfillment. Change your life now with the enduring principles of Stoic philosophy. Change begins with small steps, but the impact will be a complete transformation, bringing you closer to the strongest and most confident version of yourself. Habit 1. Procrastination Procrastination, a habit that seems harmless has the silent power to destroy our potential. How do we allow such a small action to control our lives? To understand better, let's delve into the profound analysis of this habit by Stoic philosophers. Stoic philosophy emphasizes the importance of living fully in the present and not wasting the precious time we have. When we procrastinate, we allow fear and anxiety to dominate us instead of taking action and overcoming them. Imagine an artist who, each day, makes just one cut to complete a beautiful statue. But if he continually procrastinates, that statue will never be finished. Our lives are the same. Every delayed decision is a wasted opportunity a step held back. So why do we procrastinate? Is it the fear of failure, a lack of confidence, or simply the temporary comfort we find in doing nothing? As Jesus taught, why do you worry about tomorrow? Each day has enough trouble of its own. This question prompts us to reflect. Why procrastinate when we can act today and take control of our destiny? Have you ever postponed an important task and later regretted not starting sooner? Procrastination not only delays our progress, but also creates unnecessary stress and pressure. Time waits for no one, and every minute we waste is a missed opportunity to learn, grow, and advance. Do not let procrastination become the invisible enemy that destroys your life. Learn to act now, live in the present, and embrace every opportunity with a stoic spirit and courage like Jesus. Your life deserves to be lived fully and meaningfully. Before we move on to the second habit, I have a question for you. Have you ever looked in the mirror and listen to the negative whispers echoing in your mind, whispers telling you that you are not good enough, not strong enough, or not deserving of good things. This may sound worrying, but rest assured, Stoic philosophy has the secrets to help you regain confidence. Habit 2. Negative Self-Talk Think back to the times you faced failure or difficulty. Have you ever blamed yourself, saying, Why am I so incompetent? 
or I can never do this. These words not only diminish your motivation, but also prevent you from discovering your true potential. Let's reflect on the teachings of Jesus in the Bible. He encourages us to love ourselves and others, to trust in our own strength and value. Jesus said, you shall love your neighbor as yourself. If we cannot love and trust ourselves, how can we fully love others? Questions like, why do I always think poorly of myself? Or how can I change my perception of myself? Can be the first steps to breaking the habit of negative self-talk. Stoic philosophy encourages us to train our minds by replacing negative thoughts with positive and constructive ones. Epictetus, another Stoic philosopher, once said, It is not things that upset us, but our judgments about them. Instead of telling yourself, I can't do this, try changing it to, I will try my best. Instead of, I will fail, think, every failure is a lesson for me to grow. This way, we not only change our thoughts, but also change how we act and react to life. Remember, the power lies in our hands. We can choose to think positively, love and trust ourselves. When we do this, we become stronger and spread joy and positivity to those around us. With determination and faith, we can overcome any obstacle as the teachings of both Stoic philosophers and Jesus have inspired us to do. We truly want to know, have you ever told yourself that you are strong, worthy, and capable of overcoming all challenges? If not, start today. Turn negative thoughts into opportunities for growth and learning, and believe in yourself and your abilities. Habit 3. Avoiding Challenges Have you ever wondered why you often avoid challenges in life? Is it because you fear failure or the unpredictable? Avoiding challenges is not just a temporary act of self-defense. It is a habit that silently weakens our ability to grow and mature. So how can we change our perspective on challenges to turn them into opportunities for growth? Look back at the life of Jesus, who faced numerous challenges and hardships. He did not shy away from difficulties, but confronted them with courage and faith. In the Bible, Jesus says, Take heart for I have overcome the world. If he could face and overcome the harshest trials, we can also learn from his shining example to face the difficulties in our lives. Challenges are not something to avoid, but opportunities for us to learn and grow. When we avoid challenges, we are rejecting the valuable lessons that life offers. Marcus Aurelius asserted, the impediment to action advances action. What stands in the way becomes the way. This means that the difficulties we encounter are not obstacles, but stepping stones that help us move forward. Ask yourself, when was the last time you faced a significant challenge? Did you avoid it or bravely confront it? Do you realize that every time you overcome a challenge, you become stronger and more confident. If we continuously avoid challenges, we will never truly know our limits and will always live within our comfort zone. So embrace challenges as an essential part of life. Remember, each challenge is an opportunity for you to become stronger, wiser and more mature. Jesus and the Stoic philosophers have shown that with courage and perseverance, 
we can overcome any challenge and attain inner peace. Habit 4. Excessive Materialism Do not store up for yourselves treasures on earth, where moth and rust destroy, and where thieves break in and steal. But store up for yourselves treasures in heaven, where moth and rust do not destroy, and where thieves do not break in and steal. Jesus taught us this. Have you ever wondered why we are often drawn to acquiring material possessions? Do we believe that these things will bring us happiness and satisfaction? Excessive materialism not only diminishes the true value of life, but also makes us dependent on things beyond our control. Think about the times you bought something new. How long did that feeling of happiness and satisfaction last. Was it not long before you felt empty again and started looking for another item to fill that void? The passion for material things not only depletes our resources, but also steals our time and energy. If we focus on accumulating material wealth, we will live in perpetual dissatisfaction and anxiety. Imagine a life where you are no longer bound by material possessions. You would feel freer, able to focus on what truly matters, like love, family, and inner peace. Seneca once said, True happiness is to enjoy the present, without anxious dependence upon the future not to amuse ourselves with either hopes or fears, but to rest satisfied with what we have, which is sufficient, for he, that is, so wants nothing. We need to learn to appreciate what we have, rather than always yearning for new and trivial things. By letting go of material passion, we not only find peace, but also discover the true meaning of life. Listen to the advice of Jesus and the Stoic philosophers, seeking fulfillment in kindness and love. Only then can we truly live a complete and happy life. Are you truly happy with what you own, or are you caught in the endless cycle of never-ending desire? Do you have the confidence to answer this question? Share your stories and deep insights in the comments section. Habit 5. Seeking external validation. Have you ever felt that you are only truly valuable when you receive recognition from others? Do you always wait for praise and validation to feel good enough and worthy? The habit of seeking external validation is a subtle trap that makes us lose confidence and self-control. Jesus taught us, but seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, and all these things will be given to you as well. He advises us to focus on spiritual values and honesty rather than chasing external validation. When we put our trust in eternal values, we no longer need to seek recognition from others to feel worthy. Imagine a day where you are no longer influenced by praise or criticism from outside. You would feel freer, living true to your nature and values. Seneca also said, Your happiness should not depend on things you cannot control. Instead of seeking validation from the outside, learn to affirm your own value. Look inward, seeking peace and happiness from true and enduring values. So stop seeking validation from others and start building value from within. Remember, true confidence and value come from loving and trusting yourself. Jesus and the Stoic philosophers have shown that with faith and determination, 
we can find peace and happiness within our souls. We want to send our thanks and congratulations to you for making it halfway through today's video. Your presence here shows that you are fully ready for this journey. Now, turn your attention to the remaining five habits to pause and reflect on your self-improvement process. Habit 6. Inability to handle negative emotions. Negative emotions, such as fear, anger, or sadness, often arise from situations where we feel out of control. However, as the Stoic philosopher Epictetus once said, it is not what happens to you, but how you react to it, that matters. This means that we cannot control the circumstances, but we can control our responses to them. Negative emotions are not the enemy, but an opportunity for us to train our minds and grow. Recall the teachings of Jesus in the Bible when he faced betrayal and suffering. He did not let negative emotions control him. Instead, he maintained faith and compassion. Jesus said, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. This teaching encourages us to seek comfort and peace in faith and compassion rather than letting negative emotions take over. Think about the times you have faced negative emotions. Have you ever paused and asked yourself, why do I feel this way? Or how can I change this emotion? When we understand that our emotions stem from how we perceive things, we can begin to change our mindset to control these emotions. Imagine standing before the vast ocean where the large waves represent negative emotions. You can choose to let the waves sweep you away or you can learn to surf, using them as a tool to move forward. By recognizing, accepting and learning to manage negative emotions, we not only become stronger but also find inner peace. So. Embrace negative emotions as an integral part of life. Remember, each emotion is an opportunity for us to cultivate patience, compassion, and self-control. This way, we can overcome every challenge and achieve true peace and happiness, as the teachings of Jesus and the Stoic philosophers have inspired us to do. Join the conversation in our comments section. When was the last time you faced negative emotions without letting them control you? Can you find strength and inner peace by changing your perception and reaction to difficult situations? We would love to hear your story. Habit 7 Dwelling on past mistakes. Life is always full of mistakes and failures. They are an indispensable part of the learning and growth process. However, continuously thinking about them, tormenting yourself, and nurturing feelings of regret only make us weaker. Epictetus, one of the greatest Stoic philosophers, once said, the wise man does not grieve for what he does not have, but rejoices in what he has left. This quote reminds us that instead of dwelling in the past, we should focus on the good in the present and future. Jesus also taught us about forgiveness and compassion. In the Bible, he says, for if you forgive other people when they sin against you, your heavenly Father will also forgive you. This applies not only to forgiving others, but also to forgiving ourselves. If we cannot forgive ourselves, we will live in the shadow of the past 
and be unable to move forward. Imagine you're carrying a heavy bag filled with past mistakes on your shoulders. With each step, the burden becomes heavier, preventing you from moving far. However, you can choose to leave that heavy bag behind, freeing yourself to walk lightly and freely. When you let go of the past, you will feel relief and gain the strength to face new challenges. Do not let the past dictate your future. Learn to forgive yourself, draw lessons from your mistakes, and move forward with determination and confidence. Jesus and the Stoic philosophers have taught us that with compassion and resolve, we can overcome any difficulty and find peace within our souls. Live fully in the present and look toward a brighter future. Ask yourself, when was the last time you let go of a past mistake? Can you learn to forgive yourself and use the lessons from the past to create a better present and future? We must remember that growth and happiness come not from avoiding mistakes, but from learning from and overcoming them. Habit 8. Ignoring others' happiness. Have you ever wondered why we sometimes overlook the happiness of others and focus only on our own interests? In today's society, we often become so engrossed in pursuing personal goals that we forget the importance of caring for the happiness of those around us. This habit not only diminishes the value of life, but also harms our relationships. Jesus taught us about love and selflessness. He said, love your neighbor as yourself. This teaching encourages us not only to love, but to place the happiness of others on par with our own. When we overlook the happiness of others, we not only betray Jesus' teachings, but also hurt our own souls. Think about the times you've seen someone in difficulty, but didn't help. Have you ever asked yourself, how can I help this person? Or, how can my help bring joy to both of us? When we care for and help others, their joy and happiness become ours too. Remember, even the smallest action can bring about significant change. Imagine a world where everyone cares for and helps one another. Our lives would become so much richer and more meaningful. When we put others' happiness first, we find peace and happiness within ourselves. Caring for others' happiness not only makes them feel loved and respected, but also brings us a profound sense of satisfaction and meaning. So start with small, simple actions like listening, sharing, and supporting others. Remember, every good deed, no matter how small, contributes to making the world a better place. Jesus and the Stoic philosophers taught us that love and care for others are the keys to true happiness and a meaningful life. In the process of exploring the profound wisdom of Stoicism, I was very impressed by this quote from the Stoic philosopher Seneca. If a man knows not to which port he sails, no wind is favorable. This emphasizes the importance of having clear goals to guide our actions and efforts. Habit 9 Lack of clear goals. Think about the times when you felt uncertain and unsure about your direction in life. Have you ever asked yourself, what do I want to achieve in life? Or, what are my goals and how do I achieve them? When we have clear goals, we know how to behave and deal with challenges in life. 
Not setting clear goals is like steering a ship without a destination. You will drift aimlessly on the sea, not knowing where you are going and not knowing when you will arrive. Clear goals not only help us navigate life, but also motivate us to strive and remain determined. Look at the life of Jesus, who always lived with clear and meaningful goals. He knew exactly what his mission was and never abandoned it, even when faced with difficulties and challenges. In the Bible, Jesus says, I have come that they may have life and have it to the full. His clear and noble goal guided him through all trials and hardships, bringing hope and love to humanity. Setting clear goals helps us focus, persist, and be more determined in all our actions. Imagine you want to become a talented musician. Without a clear goal, you will easily be distracted by other pleasures and never achieve your dream. But if you set specific goals, like practicing every day and participating in performances, you will steadily move closer to success. So start today by setting clear and specific goals for yourself. Remember that each goal, no matter how small, contributes to the larger picture of your life. Let the teachings of Jesus and the Stoic philosophers guide you on this path. Clear goals not only help you live a meaningful life, but also bring you peace and joy on the journey to achieving new heights. What are your goals in life and what have you done to get closer to them? Your insights could light the way for someone else. Share them in the comments section. One of the biggest obstacles preventing us from achieving our goals and living a meaningful life is the lack of discipline. Lack of self-discipline is a hidden but destructive habit that makes us easily succumb to temptations, lose focus, and fail to complete what we set out to do. Let's explore with the Stoic philosophers the harmful effects of this habit and how we can cultivate discipline to live a more meaningful life. Habit 10. Lack of Personal Discipline Jesus taught us about the power of self-control and discipline. He said, Watch and pray so that you will not fall into temptation. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. This teaching reminds us that temptation and weakness always exist. But through discipline and prayer, we can overcome them. Think about the times you promised yourself to change a bad habit or start a good one, but couldn't maintain it. Have you ever wondered, why can't I persevere? Or, how can I better discipline myself? When we cultivate self-discipline, we become more steadfast and strong, like a rock facing the waves. A lack of self-discipline makes us easily give up when faced with difficulties, become lazy, and unable to achieve our goals. Imagine you are building a house. Without the discipline to follow the plan, the house will never be completed, or if it is, it will not be sustainable. Self-discipline helps us build a solid foundation for every task and goal in life. Ask yourself, when was the last time you truly adhered to a disciplined plan? What can you do to improve your self-discipline and achieve your goals? Discipline is not just about coercion, but a journey towards finding freedom and self-improvement. By applying these principles, we not only achieve our goals, but also find true peace and happiness. 
Listen to the advice of Jesus and the Stoic philosophers, cultivate self-discipline, and live each day with determination and resolution. Only then can we truly live a fulfilled and happy life. As we reflect on the journey of discovering the ten hidden habits that make us weak, each habit is a link in the invisible chain that binds our souls and spirits. But remember, in Stoic philosophy, no habit is unchangeable. True strength lies not in avoiding challenges or mistakes, but in our ability to face and overcome them. We all have the power to change our lives, to overcome negative habits and reclaim our inner strength. Walk with courage, embrace the principles of Stoic philosophy and the love of Jesus. Ask yourself, are you ready to let go of old habits and begin a new journey to become the best version of yourself? Are you ready to live each day with determination and steadfastness to achieve what you truly desire? Remember, change doesn't happen overnight, but each small step you take today will lead you to a stronger, more confident and happier future. Believe in yourself, embrace challenges and live with peace of mind. Let Stoic philosophy and the love of Jesus illuminate your path, and from today, begin the journey of transforming your life from the habits that make you weak to the strong and inspiring principles of living. If you find this video helpful, don't forget to hit the like button to support the channel. Leave a comment with your thoughts, share the video with friends and family, to spread the good values of Stoic philosophy. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the next videos on Stoic living and self-development. Click the notification bell to get updated as soon as we release new videos. We always have interesting and useful content waiting for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next videos. Bye.